Hello guys, Neapol Times here, welcome to a new video and today I'm gonna show you my top 3 features of watchOS 10. Okay, so in the very minute that this video is being published on YouTube, Apple has released watchOS 10 alongside iOS 17, uh, tvOS 17, HomePod OS 17 and iPadOS 17. And yeah, in this video we're focusing on watchOS 10. I have another video for iOS 17, if you want to see it, it will be in one of these corners. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna show you my top three features. Now, yeah, it's not necessarily a small feature, it's like a set of features in general. But yeah, my top three set of features for watchOS, 7, uh, watchOS 10, sorry. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the first and very important feature we have in watchOS 10 is actually a brand new way to control all of your watch. So there have been many, many, many changes, but the most noticeable ones are here in the in the watch screen. So you saw a little hint, but we'll talk more about that later. But firstly, if you swipe up, you remember you invoke the control center. Well, now you invoke your widgets, and this is a brand new thing for watchOS. We have widgets kind of like in the in the iPhone, and we can of course customize all of it like in the iPhone and they will just um, automatically show you the most relevant ones so for example when you have an event you'll be shown the calendar first you can have many 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 different widgets from all of your favorite apps and you must be wondering well where do I see my control center now well that's with one click on the side button so that is actually interesting, yeah, you have your control center here and you can just click again to dismiss it. But you must be saying, okay, um, here I used to access like my multitasking window with all the apps that I had open. Where do I see that now? Well, that's easy. You see that with two clicks on the digital crown. And here you can see all of your apps and go to the one you want to see. But you must be saying, okay, I used to click this twice to go to the most recent app that I had opened. How do I do that now? Well, actually, that's a shame because I haven't found a way to do that. I think that's missing now and I think it's it's bad because I, I really like doing that. I found it very useful going to the most recent app very easily. Now what you have to do, of course, is yeah, go here and select the most recent one, which is, yeah, it's annoying, not gonna lie, really, kind of preferred it how it was before I was also used to seeing the control center like this but yeah I understand that it's necessary to see the widgets I guess also you might see that I have an Apple Watch Ultra and I'm doing like this to access my widgets you might be wondering how do I get to my night mode now you see how everything turned to red like the whole screen turned to red and everything well that happens automatically now so if I manage to get rid of darkness here which I don't but yeah, you saw before that that happens automatically now and it's 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 good because I never remember to use it before and it's better for your eyes and everything. But at the same time it's annoying because you just saw there, um, it blinked for a second and then turned to the normal mode and that happens a lot when light is not great. So like say from one hour before sunset, it starts happening all the time and even if you're inside with a, in a room with some dim light, it will also do that. Another very lame thing is that you cannot switch the watch faces like this anymore. You remember, you used to be able to um, do like this and then switch the watch faces. That's no longer possible. Also, Apple Pay remains in the same place. Just double click in this button and you will get Apple Pay. Then, if we go to the apps list, you will see that this has changed. And I think this is actually a very good change because you remember a few watchOS versions ago, they added the list view because it was annoying kind of to go through the app cloud or whatever it was called. Um, but now it's all like this, but it's actually a list that only goes up and down. So it's way easier to scroll and find an app. You don't have to go on the sides because there's nothing on the side anymore. And I think that's, that's actually a very, very good one. And speaking of the apps, there's a new design language in watchOS and all the apps have been redesigned to take advantage of it. So now they're full screen, they, they just look way more stunning. So if I go there, for example, the weather, the weather looks amazing in watchOS 10. Like, look at all of this. It's great. 
Something I don't like though is I like the consistency before of the time always being on the right, but you can see here most of the times it's in the middle, but for example we just went to activity before and it was on the right, and that's annoying. But yeah, music we have here, we have the last playing song, we have everything here like this. It's, it's really good, not gonna lie, it's, it's way better. And also developers will keep updating their apps, as for example, oh, <laughs> see my, my finger memory to do the previous thing. But for example, you can see FODMOB, which already updated it. And you can see all of the matches with like great detail with the colors of the teams, how they're doing and everything. And the last feature I want to point out here is cycling. So when you start a cycling workout, there's actually many new changes. Um, yeah, like you see here, you can view metrics on your iPhone. And it's that when you create a new workout, a new cycling workout, when you start it, you will get a live activity on your iPhone. So you can see here I have my iPhone and I see the live activity for the cycling workout here. And if I tap it, I'll get all kinds of uh, interesting data on my right on my iPhone. So this is especially good if you have like some kind of phone mount for your bike. You can see it's super big and don't have to be like turning your wrist on everything. How am I going 2.9 kilometers per hour if I am stopped? Can someone tell me? But yeah, another cool thing is of course the addition of the uh, heart rate zones to a cycling workout. They used to only be available in running before, but now they're also in cycling. So they help you see how you're doing your workout. Lastly, um, you can link your Bluetooth devices uh, for your bike with your Apple Watch. So this is uh, very good, of course, um, if you have any Bluetooth device that, for example, uh, tracks all the cadence of your pedaling, you can link it to the Apple Watch and you'll get the more accurate readings on your Apple Watch workout. Similarly to how it works with machine or like gym equipment, it now works with some Bluetooth devices for your bike. Okay, so as you saw, these were, yeah, just, I think the most important uh, watchOS 10 features. Uh, yeah, really amazed with how they change everything about the watch face. Also, really like the design of the new apps uh, in general. Actually, I think it's it's a very good change. It makes more sense now that yeah, uh, the original design language I think was more meant for kind of hiding the borders in the Apple Watch. Now that they're very thin borders, actually, I think it makes sense and it makes it look pretty. But yeah, please let me know down below in the comments what your favorite watchOS 10 feature is. Um, whether it was in this video or not, I would love to know it. Also, there might be something that I didn't actually know. Because contrary to what they did with iOS 17, Apple did not release a full list of all the features that were added to watchOS 10, which made um, doing this video kind of harder because I had to find it myself. But yeah, as I said, please let me know down below what your favorite feature is. Also, if you found this video helpful, I would love a thumbs up. It would really help the video and the channel. And if you like Apple content in general, you can consider subscribing because that's exactly what I post. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.